haircut. I got a haircut. Uh, whatever. So, there has been a film that's been on my radar to watch during Halloween for quite a while. It's... 10-31, which is nicknamed 10-31 Anthology. Um, this movie was made by an independent filmmaker. Um, it was, uh, it's an anthology of Halloween shorts. It's just like Trick or Treat or Trick or Treat. Uh, Tales from Halloween. And um, personally, in my opinion, an underrated horror film, uh, All Hallows Eve. It's just like those. But the question is, how is it? How are the shorts? What's it about? Well, it's essentially about five shorts. That's it. There's no plot that connects them together. Uh, I mean, there is, but it's not worth mentioning. But fuck it, I'll go ahead and do it. It's basically these two children watching a TV special that you'd watch during, like, um, in the old days, like a Fright Night or, you know, the Fright Night special or um, what that guy used to do... Uh, Elvira, who would do Halloween specials, you know, that, that type of stuff. Stuff that they do nowadays, and it's just not as fun as back in the old days. Um, oh, damn. <clears throat> and, I mean, you even got the fake Elvira in this movie saying, Hello, ghouls, we're going to watch a few short horror shorts. Um, as I usually do when I do these horror anthology movies, I review the, the segments of the film, the, the shorts, the stories, the movies, and then I give my review on the movie. So, first of all, for short, it's about, it's called uh, The Old Hag, it's about these two guys who are trying to do a commercial for this girl's uh, bed and breakfast, uh, and this, this one dude who's doing it uh, sees this old hag, uh, and he gets creeped out, and eventually stuff starts to go down, he thinks he might want to get out. First of all, this is my favorite story. This one, this one's my favorite because I thought there were a few scenes in this that were kind of creepy. I thought the first time we see the old hag was actually creepy. It reminded me of that scene from Insidious 3 when you see the, the one dude waving uh, in the shadows. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen that movie, but fuck that scene's creepy. It reminded me of that, and when I saw it, I was like, that's kind of creepy. It's not scary, but there were moments that were like, Okay, that's creepy. And overall, the acting in this one wasn't that bad. Um, I think all the actors do a good job. The, sh the story is short and sweet. The location is very atmospheric, and I really did like it. Uh, everyone was believable, and overall, it was just very well done. The pacing was well done. Cinematography was good. Overall, it was just a really good short, and I'd give it a, a B+. The second short is probably my second favorite. Um, in fact, I think these two shorts are really good. Um, it's I, don't, I forget what it's called, but it's... Something, oh, Trespassers, that's what it's called. It's about um, this guy and girl are uh, going on a first date, and the one girl is not scared of the movie they just got out of seeing, so they go in, they go to this farm where this haunted scarecrow is supposedly living, and I mean, that's pretty much it. There, there's this whole backstory that they give that they're trying to figure out, and the scarecrow comes alive and attacks them, and they gotta find a way to beat it. Well, like the first one, I thought the pacing. The acting, um, they were good. Uh, well, actually, take that back. I think the acting is okay in this one. It's not great, but it's okay. It's not bad or anything. It, it, I could handle it if it was like a YouTube film. Um, which, in here, since it's an indie film, it's fine. It's fine. I thought that overall it was it was pretty good. Um, the Scarecrow itself was pretty cool. Uh, I like the setting. The atmosphere was very good. Um, the cinematography was actually pretty good. Uh, everything overall was pretty good. It's not great because I think some of the acting could be better. I think the twist is really dumb, but overall it was it was it was really good. Um, or it was it was good. Uh, I'd give it like a B minus, um, mainly because of the atmosphere and the way uh, everything is handled with the scarecrow. I thought the lore and the backstory of it was really good. Uh, excuse me, <laughs> fuck. Uh, and overall, I'd say that. I'd say that anything that involves a scarecrow, you got my hook on it. So you got like you got my interest. So maybe I'm giving it a pass on that, but whatever. 
Unfortunately, though, those were the only two good ones, in my opinion. Every other story sucks. Well, that's actually not true. The next one, I, I think it's called Dance with the Dead. I could be wrong. Um, yeah, acting, it's okay. It's okay. It's it's same level of uh, as the second short, Trespassers. It's okay. The story itself is okay. But I'll be honest, this, movie, this short in particular was boring. It was just a bunch of people dancing and, and occasionally they talk about, you know, the plot or like some insight to the twist that they're going to show at the end. And <coughs> overall, I didn't really get the twist. Maybe I wasn't paying attention, but overall it was just very like, it was very weird. It was very weird. The whole movie was just them dancing at a disco ball or disco area, you know, like where you, a roller skate uh, room or whatnot. And I didn't get any Halloween spirit out of that. The atmosphere wasn't really that good. The cinematography was actually probably the best in this one. I'll be honest. But the killer wasn't really interesting. The story wasn't really interesting. The kills were cool. Um, I'll, and the practical effects were cool. I'll get the movie that. But overall, I just didn't really understand it. It wasn't the worst, but it could have been better. I'd give it a C. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. The next two shorts... It's flat out suck. I don't, I don't get them. In fact, I don't even remember the name of the last two shorts. Actually, wait. Whatever. Um, this short, I don't remember. I think it's called Halloween 1992 or something. I'm just going to call it that. It's pretty much about this these two kids who uh, get back from trick-or-treating, and one of them is a big fan of Christmas, and one of them is a big fan of Halloween. They argue constantly, and the parents are like, shut up, you kids. And I'm just going to say it, the acting in this movie, in, in this short, mainly sucks. It flat out sucks. I did not like the acting in this one. Fine. The acting in Mr. Halloween was at times a little bit better. A little bit. Not by a long shot, but a little bit. And man, I'm just saying, like, I don't, I don't get the plot to this one. Like, what was the danger? There were random things that happened. Like, the kids would come into the house, and I wouldn't even know how they came in. Were they ghosts? Later in the film, fucking Santa Claus comes in. I'm like, wait, isn't this supposed to be Halloween, not Christmas? I'll admit it was kind of cool to see Santa in a Halloween film. I mean, I'm still waiting for Michael Myers versus Santa Claus, but, uh, you know, that just didn't make sense. The story didn't make sense. I, Like, I got that it was the two kids, you know, and there was some sort of evil presence, but everything else I just didn't get. I really didn't get this one. And because of the well, lackluster acting, the okay cinematography and an okay ending i just this is definitely the weakest one i'd give this a d and unfortunately the last one uh i just flat out didn't pay attention to this one because it didn't make sense this one like it lost me from the like first five minutes i think it was called the night of sam hain or the uh, sam hain killer or whatnot this one just didn't make sense to me it was just, it was a girl who goes to a Halloween party, they play a Ouija board, and then a murderer comes and kills people, but then, like, there's this guy who we have no, like, idea who he is, he's related to the main girl or something, I don't fucking know. He dies, and we never find out anything, we never find out what the motive was with this killer, it's left to interpretation, but it's poorly executed that I just didn't care, and overall, I'm just saying, the acting in this one was really bad. As well as the cinematography was really bad as well. Actually, I'm sorry, not bad. It was okay, but it could have it could have been better. I'll just say that much. This film or this this short overall is probably the weakest. I'd say. I'll, I'll admit this one was more Halloween themed than the last than the last two, so I give it that. But it was it's really dumb. There was only one cool scene in this short, uh, and that was with a girl who comes towards the end as I think she's like a witch or something. She comes like out of a, like a, what did she come out of? Was it a pumpkin? I don't even fucking know. This one, this one was definitely the weakest one and I'll, and I'll give this one a D minus. But guys, overall, I'd say up until like the, like the, I was enjoying it at the beginning and then in the middle, I was kind of like, okay, it's kind of becoming weaker and weaker. But then after that, this one downward spiral.
And towards the end, I just, I didn't really enjoy it. Um, it's not a terrible film. I'll, I'll definitely admire, like, some of the filmmaking uh, techniques and, you know, of course, the indie films. And I believe it was from a Kickstarter campaign or Indiegogo campaign or whatever. So I'll give the movie props for that. Uh, I don't know exactly if, this is, if the director of this film did all the shorts or if it was, like, you know, different directors doing each short. I don't know. If it was, then, you know, okay, maybe that makes sense. But either way... The film as a whole, it's okay. It's okay. I, I, I like. I definitely think that the the first two shorts were the best. the 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 third short was okay, and the fourth and fifth were just a letdown. They were just a real big letdown. Um, so, do I recommend it? I'd I'd say watch the first two shorts, maybe watch the third, and then just stop right there. So, I'm gonna give this movie a C. It's okay. It's nowhere near All Hallows Eve, nor is it. To be honest, I might watch All Hallows Eve 2 instead of this. Okay, that's a little controversial. I don't know. It's okay. Check it out if you want to. But we'll see how the sequel is.